Hey everybody, T1 Glistenoff here with T1 Songwatch Mystic. She and I are going to be playing. Pickle. This is our first day with uh, Kaldheim. That's this set, Evangeline. Let me. Kaldheim? There we go. Kaldheim, yep. That's the place where all of those people that you were looking at happen to be from. So here's another person with a staff, I guess. Alright, so we'll do, do our pack one? opening shenanigans. Yep. Do. First one. There we are. Hopefully we'll get some of the cards that I can use. Yeah, see, very first pack. You can tell from all the first, right? Uh, hopefully we'll get some of the cards that I can use in just a moment, because our daily quest is red and green spells, and conveniently, the deck I would like to do has red and green spells. Doomscar. Oh, okay, that's a good one. It's Ooh, neither red I nor like green. That color. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like a little rainbow bridge. Mm -hmm. See if we get all new ones. You get to open this one. Oh, okay. Goldspan Dragon. When an attacker becomes the target of a spell, create a treasure token. Okay. Uh, oh, doubles your treasures. That's right. That's the one. All right, you get the next one, please. And then oh, it also has bound in gold, so it's a gold pack. All right. Still getting all new ones. Nice. All right. You're up. Because you got it twice. Oh, Immerstrom Predator. Becomes tapped exile up to one. Okay. We can live with that. We got a uh, Spirit of the Alder Guard. So I'll do this part and you can tap the card up here for it, and then we'll be even. No, I won't. I won't have a Resplendent Marshal. There we go. <laughs> uh and his Baffleter dies, may exile another Wings creature, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's fine. It's three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exile another creature, a uh, card from your graveyard? Interesting. Plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control other than it that also shares a type. Okay. okay. Pretty wing color. It does have pretty wings. And it's a warrior, too. Nice. Yeah, we went a little odd with our ordering earlier. You poked that, but I poked this one, and then... I poked both, and then you poked both, and then, yeah, okay, we, we got it sorted out now. All right, oh, uh, it's your turn now. That's right. Now we're back. <laughs> oh, we're still getting all new ones. Ooh, I like Go that for it. One. Oh, almost all new. Almost. Yeah, that's neat. Ooh. 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 That's really nice. Yeah, I'm, I may or may not be silly with this card. In a good way. This lets you take an extra turn. And you get to have two little tokens, too. That's a really good card, Evangeline. I would say. And we got Avalanche Caller. This thing is okay. <laughs> Hexproof and Haste. Seems good. Seems good. It does seem good. Alright. Uh... Nothing that really jumps out at me. Runeforge Champion. Search the library. Okay, for a rune card. So the, here's our rune enabler, I suppose. I can live with that. Can I do this yes, one? yes, yes, absolutely. And then I'll <laughs> Rip Yeti, the abominable snowman. Ooh, Pyre of Heroes! Okay, so if you happen to play a tribal deck, you can use this as some sort of weird birthing pod. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's birthing pod, but you have to pay two mana and tap it, but it only costs two. Hmm, that's not so bad. And it only works within a given tribe, right? Well, Either in a given tribe, or you can make it work outside of it, but it's tricky. Alright, Highland Forest. We're gonna get plenty of these. Plenty. Alright. Here we go. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, Changeling. The legendary, one of the legendary Changelings. Can't use it in modern, but it's cool. Cosima. Uh, eh. If I remember correctly, this isn't ideal. If you don't return it to the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it and draw X cards, yeah, I mean, it, it's cute. It's not the one that I was really hoping for, I suppose. But it, I, it's fine. The other side is a 3-3 three, three with crew 1. That worked out really well the last time that was in standard. So, <laughs> you know, you know. All right, you can get the next one, please. Oh, that one? Ice Tunnel. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Island Swamp. Pretty cool. You get to get the last one. Okay. We get, 
Typical. We could share it. Yeah, we'll share it. I'd rather do that. All new ones. It. Tundra Fumarole. Deals four damage to our creature, planeswalker, adds colorless for each snow spent to cast it. Wait a minute. So it's a three mana, but you get three mana back? I mean, granted, it's colorless, but that's pretty good. I love how that's immediately what I think. You get three mana back, because you're going to be spending all snow. Unless you're limited. All right, let's get this one together. One, two, three. Oh, we'll do one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, we got the uh, Golgari one. Ooh, that one's pretty. It is pretty. It has two sides to it, and you get to pick which one when you play it. Wow. Yeah, Ooh. very cool. Ooh, what's this one? Sculptor of Winter. It's an elf that's crafting a lotus. Ah, ha, ha. I see what's going on here. Lotus is a type of flower. And it's made of ice? Mm, that one is. That one certainly is. All right, was that a one mana first strike flying one two? All right, so we didn't get any of the cards for which I was hoping, but we have five rares. So let's quickly throw together a deck I've been meaning to do. This one should be way down here. Uh, Tybalt's Shepherd. Uh, I called it that because. All right, keep safe is not supposed to be in the deck. If this looks odd, that's because it is. Although. You probably already know what we're doing if you just look. It doesn't take long to figure out what, what we're up to. Alright. Uh, take these out. Not collected. There we go. Should be... There it is. Tybalt's Trickery. One, two, three, four. We're going to have to take out some of these. We have 11 uh, commons. We don't have all the rares we're going to need, though. We only have one more rare. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. <laughs> I suppose. That's neat. That's pretty neat. We're going to have to figure out what to do with all these. But, at the very wow. least... Actually, is there a way to do this individually? Yeah, that is neat. Any way to do this individually? Uh-oh. I see a problem here. I see a problem. What? It's going to be tricky for me to add these individually, isn't it? Uh, three more Forgotten Caves. We already have the four Tranquil Thickets. Rootbound Crag. Would be nice, but I guess it's not necessary. Sheltered Thicket. That's probably what I'll spend the last one on. Temple of Abandon. Cool. We can, we can make it work. We can make it work. We can make it work, I think. The idea for the deck is supposed to be, very simply, Tybalt's Trigger. Oh, okay, so Allosaurus Shepherd is a one-mana creature that can't be countered. That's all we care about for this. One mana can't be countered. Tybalt's Trickery says counter target spell, so it won't counter Allosaurus Shepherd. I know this is going to be tricky, but I'm saying it more for them than you, so give me just a minute, please. Here, you're going to uh, play with these for a sec. <laughs> give me a moment to explain. All right, so you choose one, two, or three at random. Doesn't matter. Its controller mills that many cards, then exiles cards from the top of their library until they hit until they exile a non-land with a different name than that spell. They may cast that card without paying its mana cost. <laughs> so what happens here is we cast Allosaur Shepherd, and then we counter Allosaur Shepherd with Tibble's Trickery. Now there are only three non-lands in the deck. It has to be one with a different name, so if we hit an Allosaur Shepherd, then we'll just continue on. So Tibble's Trickery, let's see. Uh until they exile a non-land card with a different name than that spell. So it basically just skips over Allosaurus Shepherd. So that leaves only two. Tibble's Trickery itself, like the other copies, and Ulamog. If we hit Ulamog, we cast it, and we win the game. If we hit Tibble's Trickery, then the first one resolves, the second one gets cast, still targeting Allosaurus Shepherd, because this can't be countered, so it's still on the stack. <laughs> and we keep doing that until we hit Ulamog. Yay! It sounds fun because it is! Um, now obviously this only works in Historic. The version you do in uh, Standard involves, I think, Stone Coil Serpent, or some of the uncounterable creatures that are way on up there, whatever. Alright, so now I need to go in and... It would be nice if I could switch these a little more readily, but I don't think it'll quite... It'll let me craft them right here, or will it? Yeah, no, if I right-click it doesn't. Alright. Because I don't want to mess up the deck, I'm going to go into deck here, uh, save and exit, 
yes, 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 I know, it has cards that aren't in my collection. So we go to collection. I have, by the way, 26 mythic rares. I think I'll be fine. Not collected. We'll pick those two colors. We'll say... Shepherd? How many shepherds could there possibly be? Just you. Right. One. And if this doesn't work out for whatever reason, then I can play elves. That'll be fun. I can just use it in elves. Alright, good. We have our playset. Excellent. Excellent. Mwahahaha. Tibbles. Trickery. Close enough. All right. Ooh, one. This is actually what I've been saving wild cards for, mind you. Two. Three. Four. Alright. Cool. And then a few more things to get to while I'm here. Uh, that should be enough. Mirrodin's core. Yep. Add the others. So Mirrodin's Court, we don't cast anything in this deck until we hit turn 3. Now, if you're thinking, well, wait a minute, this is going to be, this is a stupid combo deck, Jay. You have to actually find the pieces. Yes, but we have an, a mulligan rule that lets us aggressively mulligan for exactly what we need. So, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. I hope I'm not wrong. And then just to make absolutely positively sure, let me... Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. It has sunset. It does, doesn't it? Kaldheim lands. Make sure that there's not one that cares about multicolors. Makes any color. Choose a color, add one man of the chosen color. That actually could work, and that's a common. So we need two, we could do this. We just need the slots. It's like a... Uh, Oh, what is it? It's like the thriving cycle. I could do that if I needed. Okay, and then while we're here, last one. Uh, sheltered. Oops, yeah, we're in the wrong section. Doot, doot. No call time. But it is a land. There's the one. And having one is fine. If I'm wrong, I can still use it for brawl. So at least there's that. And now we have no more rare wild cards. So hopefully we did not choose poorly. Hopefully. Big if. Alright, so then we head back to our deck. And now we'll have to make some... Uh, hello? Hello? Have to make some tough choices. <laughs> Gruel Land Destruction. Lulu's Bizarre Adventure. I remember those silly deck names. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So with 11 commons, we can afford to have deserts. And the reason we have all these cycling lands is... If we either, for whatever reason, lose our combo, say it's a thought sees, or we have to mulligan to the point where it's no longer viable to keep going, then we can use them to try to find what we're looking for. Alright, so we take this out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. In exchange... Let's see... Let's put in Full Arts. Oh, oh, that's the one. Oops, I passed it. Passed right over it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do the same thing for Forest. Just picking that Full Art because it's Full Art. Three, four, five, six. All right. And then hopefully it'll let us keep U3 and U3 and U3. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. Now let me see. There's only one Triland, I think, that makes... Uh, you, you, my hands are cold, aren't they? That makes red and green. We have Ketria, and that's it, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's right, because they're, they're, the, they're the enemy colors of blue. That's right. Red and green are the enemies of blue. So that, there would only be one. Okay. Well, hmm, now we just need to craft the rest of them, finish deck, and I mean, maybe there's something else that I could add, two more cryptic caves or something weird like that, but I think that we're okay, probably, hopefully, where we are. That's pretty n nifty, isn't it? Cryptic caves is for if, for whatever reason, we get to the late game and we still haven't found them, but I think we'll be okay with the colors that we have, and I don't want to water down my colors too much. 
Okay, uh, final check is we have 50 lands, 6 creatures, and 4 instants. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Evangeline. <laughs> you know how this works. We're not going to jump into ranked with it. We're going to try playing around with it first. So, Dibbled Shepherd. Should have changed the art on it. it was tiny, tiny optimization. Actually, even better. Rar. There we go. <laughs> Rar. I'm glad you think that's funny. Who is Tibble Shepherd? A giant Eldrazi. All right. I wanted to show off a neat little trick that you can do with, um, uh, so if for your daily quest, not the daily wins, but the other one, the cast 30 X or Y spells, for instance, or play 25 lands or whatever, you can actually change that. You can click on it and then cycle it again, like try again. You only get to do that once per day, but if you get one with only 500 coins as its reward, and you'd like to get 750, you can roll the dice and see if you get there. It's helped me to get a few more coins than I would otherwise. Every time you succeed at going from 500 to 750, obviously you get a quarter of a pack. If you're like me and you pay for packs with coins, and not gems. Well, who doesn't buy packs with coins, like, ever? I can... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we have a moment. It's our time to shine. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, can you sit up here? Because you're kind of low on the camera. You're up against Arkwright. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to try to aggressively mulligan for both sides of the combo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three. Two. Okay, I can't really go any further than this. There is a wrong answer. There's not really a right answer here. Uh... Alright. Yeah, if I keep the Kitri Trium, it might throw them off a bit. Why do you only have two cards? So that's what's called a mulligan. If you don't get what you would like in your hand, then you have to mulligan that hand. You have to send it back to the bottom of your... send cards from your hand back to the bottom of your deck. It doesn't always work out, unfortunately. All right. Temple of Abandon. Perfect. Whoop! Nope. Nope. <laughs> Let's send that one down. And pass. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't working out super duper well. I would say. Hey, you be careful about picking that. It's not good. <laughs> careful, please. Oh, gift of paradise. Alright, cool. We're just gonna cycle it. Why not? Why not? <gasps> ah, we got there. Alright, hold priority. All right, hold it. And then... Nope, we're gonna cast it targeting Allosaurus Rider. Or Shepherd. I keep saying Allosaurus Shepherd. Or Allosaurus Pride. Mm! Alright. Alright, so look, it can't hit Allosaurus. Alright. Yes. Cast that. Targeting you. Submit. Alright, we're doing silly stuff, Evangeline. We're doing silly stuff. Huh? Yep. <gasps> there you are. Hey there. Hey there, beautiful. Hey there, gorgeous. One. Two. And we win! <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Welcome to Historic Now. I'm gonna take this to right. At some point, I actually might. <laughs> okay. Shoutouts to the stupid Mulligan rule that we have now for allowing us to do that. And I mean stupid in a good way. All right. You 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 hit the button this time, please. This you, time? Yes. You send us send our opponents to the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Also, the, part of the reason this works is because of the, I think, because of the MTG Arena uh, Shuffler. It doesn't, it makes it very unlikely that, cheese that you'll keep a hand that has only lands. Could you hit the orange button, please? Oh my goodness. Hello. We'll tell our opponent hello, because it's the nice thing to do. Uh, um... 
I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll pick that one. Hello? There we go. You even saw it jump, so I def my touch screen, I guess. All right. Uh, for the Transcendent Envoy. Oh, I think we're going to do this one. Uh, Evangeline, could you pick uh, one of those, either the red one or the green one, whichever one you'd prefer? It's all up to you. Yep. Doesn't matter too much. I guess it should have been the desert, theoretically, but that's fine. And then pass. Yeah, we should have done the desert. It's fine. It doesn't matter. We're going to win this in just a moment anyway. That one, that one, yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> yep, and then, and then we're going to tell our opponent, nope, <laughs> nope, you lose, and then we win. That's how this works. Mm -hmm. Ancestral, oh, ancestral mask. Oh, they're trying. Unfortunately, hexproof, it is not. All right. Uh, it's probably better not to cycle here. Yeah, let's not cycle, because we if we accidentally hit both of the logs, we're in trouble. Alright, so, uh, would you take that, uh, yeah, the gold one, please. Make sure you get the gold one, yes. Alright, Maiden Energy, turn on full control, Allosaurus Shepherd, and then the red one, please. There we go! You're going to win this? We're going to win this one! Shot, we're going to win this. Shot, we're going to win it. Yep. <gasps> we hit it. Click it, please. <gasps> yup, yup, we sure did. Target you and you. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so it works, folks. I'm trying to... <laughs> Your head's in the way. It's fine. Oh, you can click it, please. This is the victory. Or no, actually, keep it here. Keep it here. So, the deck works. The deck is dumb, and it works. Weaknesses. Uh, thought seize. Counter magic on Tybalt's Trickery, not on Allosaurus Shepherd, but on Tybalt's Trickery. And, um... Mulligans. <laughs> You're playing a vintage deck. You're playing vintage dredge in Historic. You just mulligan until you have it. Um... And it, I, there is, I cannot be convinced at this point that there's any way that this works outside of Arena. This is not a paper deck, obviously. This is not something you could play on MTGO. This works because the Arena Shuffler is pretty unlikely to give you a hand. It can happen, I think, but it's pretty unlikely to give you a hand with all lands. So it kind of loads the dice a little bit in your favor. Um, the way that the deck wins otherwise, though, is uh, either Allosaurus Shepherd with no, or <laughs> no, that's not, not, not really a win con, or you can mulligan, or not mulligan, you can uh, cycle and scry until you eventually find it. And you can try again. You can pull it off a second time, potentially. Um, also, I guess something like Brazen Borrower, where you'll still get the cast trigger from Ulamog, but maybe they can keep themselves from losing the game. You know, bounce effects, in other words, which do exist. All right, that's it for now, though. Can you say bye, Evangeline? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's a cool trick. <laughs> that is a cool trick. We won two quick times in a row. You know what, Evangeline? The next time I do the speed run, I'm probably going to do the speed runs with that deck. Because that is Please. fast. That is blazingly fast. Please. And if I'm definitely going to lose, I'll know quickly, because I mulligan to one. That's what I'll know. All right. And then just one more thing we'll show at the very end. I'll show the deck's, uh, what would you say, full view? Your deck layout view. Here we go. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> four mythics, four rares, two more mythics, so six mythics, four rares. This, this can be done differently. This is optional. But... Uh, if Thoughtseize wasn't played enough, it needs to be. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh, how are we do? Oh, uh, there we go. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll get it, too. Three, two, one.